Welcome. We've been drinking MMA. This is uh, the th- third fight on the prelims for the uh, UFC Fight Night. Call it. I mean, um, Gamrot versus uh, Fiziev. So this is uh, Jake Collier, heavyweight fight versus uh, Muhammad Usman. And my pick tentatively is Muhammad Usman. And my pick is uh, in. Like I'm not gonna put any money on it because this is not the fight to put any money on because you never know what how this fight's gonna go. But it's gonna be inside distance. Um, Jake Callier comes forward. He has combos. Uh, Mo Usman, he's a more of an athlete than a fighter in my opinion. Um, but he has those looping strikes that can catch a chin. Um, and on his last fight versus Justin Taffa, was it Justin or Junior? Junior. Junior Taffa. Um, he turned to a wrestler. Muhammad Usman, yeah. One of the most boring fights in UFC history. Um, but he won. He literally held him against the cage for three rounds, and then I don't even know if the takedown happened. Maybe it happened for a little he bit. He took him down. A little bit. And then he laid on top of him. <laughs> 15 minutes. 15 straight minutes of that. And it was like, wow. Wow. Well, I think this is going to be a different type of fight. Um, uh, Jake Callier is going to come in with a different mentality. I think it's a winner to be out of the UFC type mentality so he's going to come forward and he's going to stay stay coming forward so um his gas tank is not the best because he's a big man yeah and he used to be a small guy and went now he's a big guy so <laughs> he used to be a 185er wow he's huge and he's a and he has to make way for 265 wow you know? he actually has to cut wow so, yeah well have you have you looked at him he's a big boy pudgy guy big guy big yeah. guy he does throw combinations yeah yeah and he stays keeping forward. He loves the, the combos. And you never know. It's the UFC, and they're big guys. Yeah. One just takes one punch with the heavyweights. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it's, so my pick is inside the distance. I mean, it, it's a close fight on the odds. It's basically a pick em. Uh Muhammad Usman is a slightly favorite, minus 150, $150 to make 100 So very, very close on the odds. And uh, Collier, slight underdog, hundred dollars to make one hundred twenty-five. So it's basically a pick 'em, and that's why I feel like I don't want to put money either, bro. Like all I really want to do is look at the first round, look at how Usman is he fast enough? Is he is he is he keeping the distance smart, or is he wanting to brawl? Because if sometimes a guy like Collier he puts that much pressure, all of a sudden you say, screw it. I'm sick of trying to run. Let's just go ahead and bite down on the mouthpiece, sit down on my punches, and see if we can trade. And then all of a sudden, the, the second or third strike of Collier hits you while you're loading up. Yeah. And that, that that's one of those things that can happen when you think you're so much better. He might be underestimating. You know, that type of stuff against Collier. He might be underestimating Collier. And it's just one of those fights where Collier is going to be throwing a lot of strikes. Usman doesn't throw a lot of strikes. So Usman either probably gets the knockout counterpunch or he doesn't, and Collier just kind of keeps backing him up, and it yeah. could be a boring decision. Obviously, Usman can switch to wrestling and – and, and hold him against the cage and do things like that. But like we're saying, if Collier put so much pressure, it's not always easy to just get takedowns against a guy who's putting that much pressure. Yeah. For a heavyweight, it's a lot of pressure. You know, it's not typical for a heavyweight. Like like Lazzy said, he came up for 185, so he's got the mentality of a dog of wanting to come forward, and he's not afraid to, to really go forward because – he knows he's got good, fo- uh, faster footwork than most heavyweights. So it's confidence is a big thing in the heavyweight division, right? So I want to, we want to wait for the first round definitely, and then possibly in the, you know, see how Usman is dealing with, you know, is he fast enough? Is he keeping the distance? Is he, is he getting the timing down with, uh, you know, getting out of the way and throwing counters? If not, I just let the fight go. And the gas tank too. Gas tank's a big thing in this fight. Yeah, again, we're talking about the pressure of Collier. You don't know how Muhammad Usman, you don't know how anyone really can handle that type of pressure sometimes. So it's like, eh, it's a close on the odds. I'm just going to wait, see what happens in the first round. No shame in saying that. So, so yeah. Yeah. Uh, gut reaction, inside the distance. Inside the distance. Someone gets finished, so much yeah. pressure. Someone's going to get knocked out. Yeah, for sure. So, Thanks for listening, guys. Wait till the next fight.